Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it is finally time for us to do the, I guess, part two of my non-acid wheel and tire cleaner test. So it's been quite a few months since I did the first video in this series where I put PNS Brake Buster versus Black Labels non-acid wheel cleaner. And I gave the win to the Black Label, as did everyone in the comments. So that one is definitely moving forward into the next round. Unfortunately, Brake Buster, which I've been using for many years, as I suspected, it just isn't as strong as something like this. And we'll see, maybe it'll come second overall, but so far, um, it's not won in its first round. Uh, this time, we are putting these two against each other. So we have the Meguiar's Detailer Series, non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. So the American versus the Australian Merch Grime Off. Um, I do have the next two ready to go. And then after that, I have bought two more. So I bought some Shine Supply and I bought some Nano Skin. So those will also be coming in. They just haven't arrived yet. But for this video, it's going to be battling the Meguiar's and the Merch. So I'll just quickly go over the pricing for these. So the Meguiar's, this one here is the 946 mil, ready to use. Um, I really do like this. It's got a good um, spray trigger on it. And yeah, those ones you can actually pick up. Oops, sorry, my pressure washer's jumping on. I can pick up from Repco for around $35. Generally on sale at the moment, they're on sale and it's $28. Um, and you can also get it in a one gallon, which is the 3.8 liters. And that is going to be $72. So then for the merch. So that one's gonna set you back. A little small bottle I got here is 500 mil. That one is gonna be $16. Uh, you can also get it in a one liter refill pack for $23. And they also offer the five liter for $70. So definitely cheaper going with the Merch, which is the Australian one. Um, so let's hope that it can beat the American and see how it does. Cause that is one that I've really been liking. Um, I did actually, this trigger, it seems like it's not really liked. So hopefully it works. I used it a little while ago and it's like caked up and yeah, when I had a bit of a leak and it's kind of stained the label. So maybe I'll get a new bottle of this, um, but the reason I waited so long for this test was because I wanted these wheels to be extremely dirty, which as you can see, they are, they have, it's been quite a few, I mean, I think it's been a couple of months since I cleaned them, to be honest, so this is going to be a real test. Um, it does wipe off in some spots, but it's pretty baked in. The tyres should really get some browning from them. And we'll just look at the other side as well. So yeah, this other side also. Oh yeah, okay, that is caked on at the side there. Let me just check this other one and make sure it's the same. No. So they're probably gonna be a bit of an unfair test because that other side grime has caked in, whereas this one is sort of all loose, but we'll still go ahead. I'm gonna even make it Meguiar's on this side where it's a bit softer and easier to remove and the merch on the other side because I feel like that merch is a lot stronger. So yeah, we're going to be using the Roby pressure washer, spraying the products on to both the tire and the wheel because I really want to see these clean the tire as well. So I'm going to be spraying onto the tire and scrubbing that in with my tire brush. Also at the same time while I'm doing that, it's going to be on the wheel and eating away at any of the grime. And then we're going to just attempt a single pressure wash off to see how good that does. We'll then go ahead and agitate, respray the tire and see if we get any more browning coming off after we have scrubbed. So yeah, I've got my wheel bucket set up with a bunch of brushes and everything ready to go. Um, no soap in there, it is just plain water, so won't be contaminating anything. So yeah, with that said, let's get right into it. I'll put the GoPro on my head, sit down, and we'll um, test out the Meguiar's. All right guys, let's start off with the Meguiar's non-acid wheel and tire. So I will first spray it straight onto the tire. And yeah, you can see that is instantly browning up. So when I first tried this, I felt this is far better than the Brake Buster. And that is why I didn't used to get it that strong from the Brake Buster. So that is clearly eating away at the tire, getting all the gunk out. So now for the wheel. And like I said, this one wheel is clearly the cleaner wheel. So it's a bit of an unfair comparison today, but I've got some faith in the Merch Grimer that it's going to still do an amazing job get up into this guard lining a little bit too while I'm here so now I feel like this is more than I would generally spray it because I'm just trying to a uh, spray on rinse off I'm just going a little bit crazy on it so put that down 
grab our tire brush out. And we're just gonna give the tires a good scrub. So I definitely let the wheels get a lot dirtier this time than I did last time. So maybe the spray and rinse method might not be as effective as it was in the previous video. So I'm gonna try not to judge it. I'm just gonna more, more compare them between the two products. Even though, like I said, one wheel is clearly dirtier than the other. And I'll rinse this off before it goes back into the bucket. So the Meguiar's, I know it does say to uh, spray the wheel first, wet it. Um, I just feel like that's going to dilute, dilute the product a little bit. So I decided to do it dry. This car hasn't been driven. The wheels and the brakes, tyres, nothing's hot. So it should be fine. Um, it says to allow to soak no more than 30 seconds. Um, so, I mean, that also seems a little bit short. But we'll go ahead and give it a rinse off now. Um, it's not in any danger of drying, but we'll still we'll rinse it off now and see how it's done. Yeah, so it's done a pretty good job cleaning as you can see definitely needs some agitation but i guess we'll go ahead we'll give it another spray down go to the tires first see if they turn brown again no it's definitely cleaned the tires well so the agitation is all it really needed so that's plenty we will get a wheel rush let's just go for this flat face one So one thing that I really like is when the product foams up, which you can see this one really does, makes cleaning nice and easy. So yeah, that's a definitely a bonus. This one, I'll rinse this brush off again. And what I want to get is probably my wheel woolly and get it into the back. the wheel off now and that should be all we need to do. So there you go, as you can see the wheel is clean, nice and white. It's not really any obvious signs that it still needs to be scrubbed. A few spots where I sort of missed, you know, down inside here, but um, that's all we were going for. I didn't go very thorough clean. So there we go. A one, it took one agitation attempt. Um, couldn't quite do a spray and rinse on it, but the tire it got first go. So now we'll jump on the other side and compare that against the Merch. Okay, so now we'll try off, try out the uh, Merch Grime off on this side. So hopefully this trigger still works. Okay, yep, there you go. And wow, well, look at that. Instant browning on the tire. <clears throat> this stuff is strong, smell wise. Now, I'm using all these undiluted. All of them can be diluted. For a wheel like this, <coughs> wow, very strong. For a wheel like this, undiluted is definitely what you would want. <coughs> yeah, I think I'll breathe a little bit of that in, which I didn't want to do. So this is the dirtier wheel. I'm going to really cover this. Okay, 
Now I know I'm using probably more than the Meguiar's, but just to keep it somewhat fair, because this wheel was far dirtier. Okay. There we go, so look at that, that tire. That is crazy. We got a little bit more on there before I agitate. So I feel like the tire already much is uh, stronger. So that is down in there, that is like dark. So tire brush is going to make a mess, but. Yeah, craziness. Rinse this off. So, this one I'm gonna leave a little bit longer because it doesn't say anything about 30 seconds. I know it definitely recommends a few minutes. Maybe one to three minutes do not allow to dry. All right guys, it's been a couple of minutes. Um, I did just have to spray a little bit more on the top of the tire here just because I didn't want it to dry while the wheel was still going, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse. Could probably go for a bit longer because as you can see, it's not drying, but in certain spots it might start. So yeah, let's rinse this and see how it does. Now, I don't know if you guys could see it as I was seeing that, as I was rinsing off, but it was like caked up in these certain areas. And as I was going across, it was just taking pretty much all of it off. And this one, like it was not even smooth feeling. It's like these wheels need to be clayed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say straight away, I feel like Merch has done a better job at the initial spray and rinse clean. Now, obviously, these ones could still use a little bit of an agitation. I'm just gonna do the tiniest amount. I'm gonna go on the tire again to check if we get any more browning. So go for the tire again. So no, nothing there. And it's a little bit on the wheels. Just to agitate. So we brush. We used this one last time. I'll just scrub that into the tire. Definitely no browning there. And as for the foaming, it doesn't foam up as, as much as the Meguiar's. It does foam up a little bit, but yeah, the Meguiar's and the PNS, when I've used all these, have definitely been the ones that foam up the most. I didn't spray that much this time either, but I know that from experience, even though I spray directly onto the brush, So we've got that loaded up. It's it, frames up a little bit. Does do pretty well, but yeah, not as much as what the Maguires did. Okay, rinse that.
All right, that. Get these gloves off. I'll take the camera off my head. So we're getting nice and close on each wheel. So you guys can see, this one is super clean. Obviously, a couple of little spots where I didn't agitate down in the back of the spokes, but overall, very clean. Coming to the other side where the Meguiar's was for another look. Both did a great job. But considering this was the cleaner wheel, I still feel like the Merch wheel looks cleaner overall. And this one didn't have as much work to do considering it was the cleaner wheel in the first place. So yeah, I'll grab both products, sit them down and let's get the final thoughts. All right guys, well, there you go. Tested both out. I just did the front wheels. Don't want the video too long into the backs as well. Um, so my thoughts are the definitely better spray trigger was this one. Um, this one, probably because I've used it before. This was like brand new, but it definitely got a bit crusty. So yeah, you can see the bottle got a bit colored up because I um, had some spilling, but yeah, the wins I'm gonna give to the Meguiar's are the one liter bottle with a good trigger available at like Repco and foams up a little bit better. That's where about it's gonna end. I'm gonna say for merch, better price, stronger product for cleaning, you can dilute it even more, clean the tires better, clean the wheels better. Um, yeah, I would definitely go for the merch. That is my pick. Um, so it's up to you guys, leave me in the comments. I'm gonna, you know, hopefully you get enough of you can comment and say which one you think won. Um, you heard my thoughts, pluses and minuses for both. But overall, I'd give my vote to the merch crime off, as well as being Australian, it's always a bonus too. Um, so, so far, Australian products are doing well. Nothing has so far been, you know, like, oh, look, this brake bus is so well loved. Surely this one we've never heard of is not gonna have a chance. And it absolutely blew it out of the water. Um, I feel like this one's a bit closer, but I still think the Australian one has won. So yeah, please let me know in the comments which one you preferred, which one you would use. And um, yeah, I'm gonna count the votes up. And next one is going to be probably these two, unless the other products arrive. Again, Australia versus the UK this time. We have Platinum Potions versus Auto Finesse. Um, but so far we've got Australia into the next round see which one comes through but I'm gonna say this one but we'll see what you guys think and then yeah we have two more in the first round to go before we move on to the next round I guess so hopefully you guys are enjoying this one um, it's all just started because I wanted to find something else to use other than brake buster because I just felt like I was going through a lot of it and it just didn't feel like it cleaned the tire enough for me so yeah I've already found products I've liked better I want to see what you guys think too so yeah leave me a comment Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. I'm not sure when the next series, uh, next video in this series will come. I need to wait for this car to get nice and dirty again, but it will be definitely coming, hopefully sooner than it took between these two. But yeah, with all that said, until next time, I will catch you guys later. <music>